So, Robin, a pleasure to have you in. At this time when we know we saw we saw the lights, we've seen people with the chalk messages, the tributes to Rob Ford. What's what strikes you about those? Yeah, he was just so loved in in big portions of the city, but even people who maybe weren't necessarily political fans uh, recognize that this is just a huge tragedy. He was only 46. Two young children. Two young children, a wife. Um, yeah, it's incredibly sad. It'll be uh, interesting. I'm sure his his funeral will be gigantic and, yes. and the, uh, the responses have been huge. We don't have the details of funeral yet. We'll get those forthcoming, we expect. Uh, you know, you mentioned whether you, we talked about whether you agree with his politics or not. Uh, and much of what became the Rob Ford story, people are reluctant to talk about in these initial days. This is a time for mourning, it is a time for tributes. But we'll embrace all of those as we talk about the man, because you can't separate from from the other. Mm. You know, you look at the adjectives from controversial, polarizing, colorful. He was an everyman, he was an addict. How do you sum up Rob Ford? I mean, it's all of that. If you live outside of the city, you might think of just the drug stuff. Uh, but people who lived in the city, he was a counselor here for 10 years. He was big in the headlines all through his, you know, 10 years as a city councillor before he ever became mayor. And before any of the scandals hit, City Hall was a crazy place to cover. He will be remembered as a guy who made us start saying the word taxpayer. Um, mm. He draw, drew a focus to uh, expense accounts. Um, he, you know, now makes it taboo to, to uh, take taxpayer dollars for granted. Stop the gravy train. Yeah, I mean, you have left-wing candidates promising uh, tax cuts or, or at least not tax increases in, in the last election. So I think that is his lasting political legacy. But you can't separate the scandal as well. And that was part of his story, is that people loved him so much that they were willing to overlook some of his more uh, controversial behavior. I mean, that was the incredible part. Even as more and more was being revealed about uh, alcohol and about crack eventually, the tapes as they came to the public light, his support remained strong. His support when he sought re-election before the cancer hit was strong. He was running a solid second. And there are some people who think he could have won in 2018. Now, whether that's true or not, I, I don't know. But Rob Ford spent uh, a big portion of his political career crafting a group of loyal followers, which he affectionately called Ford Nation. And those people stuck by him. Uh, now, it wasn't a majority in the city, but if you have a couple different candidates running, um, there is a path to victory for him. And those mm -hmm. people stuck by him through everything. And those were people who didn't see themselves represented by other politicians previously, correct? I mean, he spoke to the disenfranchised and the alienated, the people who were trying to get places and they weren't making any headway in this great big yeah, city. Yeah, absolutely. And they connected with him because they felt that he was, you know, a regular guy. Um, and in that, in that sense, his... Uh, perhaps failings or problems that he encountered made him seem more relatable. Um, Rob Ford's big uh, claim to fame was that he returned every phone call he got. Um, and evidence suggests that he did, he did do this. He, mm -hmm. he, especially as a city councillor at least, did spend a huge portion of his time phoning people back. Um, and, you know, uh, when you're out covering um, Ford on the campaign trail or getting reaction after some of the scandals, that is what you heard time and time again, is that well, you know, in 2005, I was having a problem with the city, and, and I called Rob Ford, and, and he fixed it for me, or if he, he tried didn't to show fix up it. at the door with or the fixer exactly. with Exactly, and like that it? sort of thing just means so yeah. much to people, and they remembered it, or and they'll tell their friends, right. and, and then those friends will remember it. You covered those stories. City Hall 2010, is that right, when you first got there? 2010 to 20. 2014. 2014, yeah. okay. In covering those, you covered those stories, but obviously we remember you, prim not primarily, but largely because of, the vi of what you exposed for the Toronto Star at the time, the video, the addiction, and everything that followed. But there were things swirling around Rob Ford for years. You know, not everybody dealt with them. Not everyone covered them. What was it about the Rob Ford story, though, and that part of it that said, I've got to keep digging here. I've got to keep looking at this. This is a man whose story is greater. Yeah, I mean, by the time that he became mayor, um, the first year it was pretty quiet in terms of the personal mm -hmm. stuff, uh, but there were rumblings of something happening that, behind the scenes at home. Um, and if you're a municipal politics reporter and you hear those rumblings, I mean, that's what you should be pursuing, and that is right. what I looked into. So, I mean, by the time that any of the stuff broke, I'd already been looking into it for, for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that is, I guess, the thing that people remember that story about. But again, there were just so many more um, 
crazy fights at City Hall before that. He really um, created this narrative about a fight between the downtown and the inner suburbs. Divide, yeah. yeah, like it seemed like we were sort of in this this culture war: bikes versus cars, or you know, arts Subways and environment versus, versus light rail yeah, trains. Yeah, exactly. And like that was the big narrative that dominated City Hall in the first couple of years, and then afterwards it was sort of hijacked by these these scandals that we were reporting on as well. Okay. Fascinating story. Great place on which to end our conversation. Robin, thank you very much for coming in. Of course, Robin, you can read in the Globe and Mail and Crazy Town, the Rob Ford story, her book, well worth your time as well. Thanks again, Robin.